Hi, here is Michael and today I will show you three short tips for Cloud Cloud. The first one is Super Cloud. It's a development framework for, for, for Cloud Cloud. Uh, installing is really easy. Uh, just clo uh, git clone and uh, running this insta script and you will get a few, com few new commands for your Cloud Cloud and it's pretty, pretty uh, good project this for uh, lighting and uh, it also has some MCP integration like context 7 for uh, latest docs and uh, sequential thinking or puppet for browser testing and automation I'm using it uh, this free already in, in my installation second tip is you can enable background tasks for your cloud code and it's just as easy as this as this uh, add a design to the, your to your config file for the command line and you will have a background task ready to use in your cloud code and you can you can uh, run this ta this line with cloud and ben giraffe skip permissions and you can run a cloud code for really long time you don't need to uh, approve all the steps but be careful and the last news is this when a cloud code switched plan uh, or come up with this uh, max or max uh, usage plan uh, it it released cloud code action it works on your github you will uh, you will in install this for your project and in issue you can call Cloud for resolving the issue. Just mention it in the comment and it, it, it will run and fix or try to fix the problem. The problem here is you need to have a API key and one issue costs like one or two dollars to fix what I try to do it. Now there is a fork for this and it's this repo a girl lilla and it's it's it will use your cloud max plan instead of epic key so try it it's on your own risk because you could somehow uh, bypass conditions for cloud code but this is this is for you to try if you want so that's it for today there is it was super cloud and background task and this cloud code action fork. So thanks for watching. See you next time.